Right, welcome back. Last time... We didn't do that much in particular. Mostly colonizing southwards as well as continuing to update my second city and build up my port cities. Which are starting to grow, although it will still take quite a while before they can do much productive. And I just got for another reform. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing hereditary elite. Wealthy elite, eh, I don't like that reduction in centralization. Uh, military elite doesn't seem that nice. I'll just take point in elite. Minus 10% to autonomy everywhere. To the resting point of autonomy, anyway. Which is honestly pretty helpful. Doesn't give anything else, but what do I care? Still pretty helpful. This should improve communication with other locations further down the coast, as well as improve urban gravity to help deal with, well, make sure that the growing population continues to grow as fast as possible, which is of decent importance. Alright, I'll go ahead and click this. Uh, I don't need the idea cost reduction right now. Instead, I'll just grab one of these. There we go. I need more monarch points in order to keep up in tech and grab new ideas. I think I'll also go ahead and yeah, let's just get a level 1 capital in Songo. It'll raise construction costs, but it will also lower... Well, raise the urban gravity. By a large degree. Gives me an extra straight, and... Uh, reduces the CE days by 5% all over the country. So, every 20 days that a province has, it will take one day less to travel. This is especially helpful in the hinterlands back here, which are honestly pretty bad, communication-wise. I mean, it is part of the reason why I haven't expanded any further. Communication is just so bad, I can't imagine really maintaining a hold over the province. 72 days. Yeah. Uh, when this one is has a currently a resting point of 99.5%. And it's one of my provinces with the worst amount of communication. This is the one with the actual worst amount of communication with 166 days. Yeah, I'm thinking of actually just getting a trade harbor set up here, just so that it's not that bad. I mean, before I do that, that is the correct province, right? Yes, it has a natural harbor. Okay. Alright, let's upgrade this. Oh. Yeah! Probably should get that set up. 
That way, both this province and this province can get much better communication, along with their neighbors benefiting from the same. Since uh, you could just take a boat to get down the coastline instead of walking across the Nib Namibian desert, which is considered to be one of the most deadly deserts on the planet. Anyway, I can get two more new ticks. First, the Colombian Exchange, which gives me a new idea group, so I'll go ahead and just grab trade ideas. i this one for a while. Right. I don't have the ability to grab any of those ideas yet. When the Spanish made contact with the Americas, they discovered a new world filled with crops and animals and aliens. Soon, plants such as maize, potatoes, and tobacco were passed into the old world, while other crops, like wheat and barley, arrived in the new. By the late 16th century, the potato had made its way beyond the Spanish possessions into the rest of Europe, helping to increase crop yields and make less arable land attractive for settlers. That's the tech that gives the idea group. Now, if only we're close. Okay. Snaplock muskets. Muskets continue to improve, becoming safer, more accurate, faster reload, and cheaper to purchase. All of this meant that increasingly infantrymen, well, and increasingly infantrymen carried a firearm, giving them opportunities to implement tactics designed around the gun. Infantry fire plus 0.15. And Kakongo finally swaps to burgers. It will actually lower the autonomy to the point where. Nice! It will bring it down to zero. We can actually start taking full advantage of this province. Which I like. Something I haven't done in a while is actually take away a privilege from the nobles. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, let me reboot. Let's stop issuing high court, higher court your dials. I don't need them having the chance to become greater nobles. I'd rather not have any trader nobles if I can avoid them. They just have way more power than the lesser ones. And so are more of an issue to keep under my thumb. Huh. Thank you. For not trashing my stability. I guess it should be a good place to stop it here. So, I've continued colonizing. That's pretty much it. I've also gone ahead and managed to build a craftsman's district in my second city. There still isn't a production center here, but I think it is getting production skill quicker now. Uh, my capital has downgraded the local art center. Oh well. I did manage to build a capital there, though, which will help with getting autonomy down. Additional my capital is continuing to invest in Kokongo, and the port cities are growing. In fact, Luanda is at the point where I'm actually willing to invest in the building. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably should do the same over here by this point. Looking at it. Yeah. At the very least, the temple. Just to raise our gravity. What about over here? Yeah, urban population is about to hit half the urban gravity. Yeah, let's definitely do that. I also finally got around to building trade wars here, so. 30 days here. 29 day. How is this faster? Just is apparently. I guess it has. I guess for this province, yeah, it looks like it has an update. Oh, uh, yes, it has. Oh, isn't that strange?
Yeah, if I want to get anything decent over here, it's going to need quite a bit more. In the ways of communication. Oh well. It almost looks like he wants the travels I've got. It's actually going to be at zero autonomy. We're very close to it. Yeah, it might. Probably will. Although it will be very, very close, and any change will cause it to shift away from that, so. Yeah. It's for global happenings. Oh, Spain formed. Aquitaine got itself a colony. Aquitaine Cuba. Spain has also started a second colony. Spain. Here's Denmark, Norway. As well as Danish, Norwegian, Subarctic, Island. Because apparently there's a limit to the length of a name on the map. I don't really see much difference over here. Yeah. Uh, the Cape, the province of the Cape is starting to get, has actually obtained casual literacy and is starting to get globalized trade, which is at least good. It is letting me know that there's going to be more to come. The promise is going to take a long, long while for casual literacy to start spreading. In fact, it, might, it actually probably is my best interest to build a city here. Just so that I can get an art center together. Going to take a lot. Well, our population is already 2.3k, so it's. You know what? Invest into it. Hopefully, I can get myself an art center and we'll start spreading all the way over to there. Even if a bit slowly. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Until then. Bye.